Please, please do not upload shorts this year. For many channels, it can be tragic. Right now, I will tell you who should avoid uploading short videos, who should start, and how not to make things worse but better and squeeze every cent out of shorts. Let's not waste any more time and jump into action. Let's look at real cases. Entertainment channel. The most popular shorts are getting 16, 10, 8, 8, 8 million views, long videos 2, 2, 2, 2 million views, clear as day. Shorts are getting more views, shorts are the answer. But let's dive a little deeper and look at the watch time earned by these vids. The shorts that got 16 million views got 82,000 watch hours. Then let's compare it to the average long video on the channel with 635,000 views. This video has earned 101,000 watch hours. YouTube says that the average watch time for such a video is 94 to 129,000 hours. So the most popular short video has earned less than the average long video. The short videos are shorter, obviously, and the value of one view is lower. And that's important to understand because you can get distracted and go the wrong path if your shorts get 50K views and a long video only a couple thousand. Always calculate the real watch time. On YouTube, the most important thing is how long people are watching not how many times. So if we see that long videos are getting much more watch hours than shorts, the conclusion is obvious. The channel became popular because of its long vids. People watch these videos because they love the YouTuber. They have 30 minutes of video to see him. Think about how long it will take shorts to get to that 30 minute mark. Well, how much money can you make from shorts? And I'm not talking about monetization. I'm talking about selling stuff. We already know that shorts get less watch time. But how about interactions with viewers? We want to sell stuff to people. How can we do it? through shorts. The average view duration, aka interaction with each viewer on shorts is about 18 seconds. So with this short video that got 16 million views, we have interacted with the audience for 18 seconds. But in the long video, the interaction time is over nine minutes. What do you think? Which video will yield more merch sales? 18 seconds or nine and a half minutes? In a long video, a blogger can tell a story of his merch, do a giveaway or something like that. Interest people in buying and that will yield much more sales than a popular short video where the blogger will do some sort of a challenge in his branded sweatshirt. Short videos are losing in terms of watch hours, interactions, and sales efficiency. And that smaller interaction time, you can't tell almost anything to people, explain anything, or spark some interest. You simply can't. The viewer surely can like the video and subscribe to your channel. Here, a long video has earned 4,000 subscribers and a short video, 16,000. But these subscriptions are worth nothing because people have subbed after 10 seconds of watch time. The value of such a subscriber is very low, but will that subscriber hurt your channel in the future? Watch further to find out. So we've established that for brands that want to sell something, short content is much weaker than long videos. But what about monetization? Here we have a tech channel. The first short video on it has gained 7 million views. And from those views, we earned $27. Here is another short that got 630,000 views. It earned $220. So the video earns 10 times less views, but almost 10 times more money. So if I said that the value of views on shorts is 16 to 20 times less than on long videos, then in terms of monetization, the same views are around a hundred times less valuable. If you have a channel service like cooking or gaming, divide your monetization on long videos by 100 and you will get the monetization on your shorts for a thousand views. So if your shorts get 100 views, you will earn one cent, hooray. And if they earn 100 million, you will earn a thousand bucks. You can see a quick spike in views and subscribers but what's the point? You won't earn on them. The subscribers won't watch your videos. The value of such an audience is almost zero. There is one interesting thing about shorts. People say something like, just cut pieces out of your long videos and everything will be okay. It's so fast and easy. No, it's not that easy. It's the opposite of that. We're creating a lot of shorts for all channels. And believe me, creating shorts is a piece of work. Look, all of these shorts have earned over a hundred thousand views most over a million. Every second is a new B-roll, B-roll. 
constant motion and editing. Somewhere there is a presenter whose A-rolls must be color graded and edited. Every second is filled with action and doing all that all by yourself without experience can be hard. But luckily, Movavi Video Editor comes to the rescue. Movavi Video Editor is just one part of the larger Movavi Unlimited package. Movavi Unlimited is a comprehensive video editing package that provides everything needed to elevate content to the next level. It offers a convenient way to convert large and difficult to manage footage shot on a phone into a more manageable format and even upscale videos up to eight times for a high quality picture. The user-friendly timeline in the Movavi Video Editor makes editing simple and easy with the ability to add, remove, or rearrange clips, adjust duration, trim, and split clips. The timeline also allows for multiple tracks, making it easy to layer different elements such as background music, sound effects, and voiceovers to create a dynamic final product. With a wide range of effects and video editing tools, it's easy to create professional-looking videos that stand out on YouTube. Additionally, there are options to add audio and text to videos and create animations with keyframe animation. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor, making it easy to create stunning video thumbnails by cropping, resizing, applying filters, and adding text, stickers, and frames to images. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link, and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. And of course, we can't ignore the inadequacy of recommendations for shorts. Shorts, in terms of recommendations, are behaving totally unpredictably. Here is another example. The short video was earning views just fine, with a great view rate and retention, but it suddenly stopped getting impressions. Some shorts are just not getting impressions and there is no real reason why that is happening. If we check out long videos on the same channel, they are steadily growing and getting tons of recommendations. On the first, second, third day and further, everything is great. This shows that the algorithm for shorts is still in development, it's still not tuned properly. We don't understand why the spikes in views happen. Long videos, on the other hand, alongside getting more watch time and money, are much easier to predict. You can set a steady traffic when your new video is pushing forward the old one and vice versa. In shorts, it also does work, but that disappearance of recommendations is totally crazy. You can't control that. And here is another example for you. 76% of people viewed the shorts and 79% retention. 9 million views, everything's great. On another channel, 72% view rate, 87% retention, but the video is still drops dead. Of course, the activity of the audience matters, but controlling the performance of shorts is impossible now. But enough about negatives of YouTube shorts. There also are positive sides to that. To take advantage of shorts, you have to perceive them the right way. They won't kill your channel, at least from the activity standpoint. If you start making shorts on a channel focused on long videos, your long videos will not stop getting views. This never happens. But shorts can derive you from your course. If you treat shorts right, you can get some decent results from them. Look at them as a reach tool and add for your channel, not as it's something for conversions. It's a can of Pepsi. You can't sell anything more complicated than a can of Pepsi. That's the most complex idea you can transmit through shorts. If your business sells something that doesn't require trust or can be bad by definition, then shorts can become selling ground for you. Shorts with views can earn you money, but indirectly. If your channel has many views on long videos and on shorts, potential partners that would want to purchase ad placements will see that. For them, good reach of your channel is the main target. But if you want to sell some product, only long videos. Period. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it was useful to you. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.